Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create some simple animated files in PowerPoint and use them in our Doodly whiteboard video. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. If you're a Doodly user, you know that animated GIF files, or GIF if you prefer, are a great way to add movement and life to your whiteboard videos. But did you know that you can create them yourself using PowerPoint? That's true. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do that. Here we are in PowerPoint and I've started a blank presentation. Now, the first thing we wanna do is go over here to the insert tab. And right here where you see shapes, icons, all this stuff, this is where we're working today. Let's start with a basic shape. I wanna create an arrow. So I'm gonna click shapes and let's find the little arrow like this one right here. Now I just drag with my mouse to make my arrow shape, okay? We'll leave in the um, example that I had in Doodly. I had something like this. Well, let's make a slightly different one. Let's make a short fat arrow like that. And I think that's fine. Maybe we'll change the color so it's a little different. Let's make a red arrow. And then the next thing we wanna do obviously is animate it. So what do you think? Should we go over to animations? And over here, we have some different types of animations. For the example one that I have in Doodly, which is this little blue one, let's hit preview once again. It slides in and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So we want this to do the same thing. So here it is right here, fly in. Now by default, you notice, let's hit preview. It comes up from the bottom. Well, that's not what we have in mind, right? So we want to look over at the animation pane, which is over here. Open that. And if you notice, we can open these different things, okay? Right here on effect options, property from bottom. Well, that's what we're seeing. How about if we change it from left? Now, if we click preview, it comes in just how we want it. You can also make adjustments to the timing. How often do you want it to repeat, for example? Let's say we want it to repeat three times. And that should be fine for our purposes. So you notice that's your repeat like that. So it kind of draws attention to it, boom, 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 and then it stops. And I think that's fine. So let's go ahead and export it. I'm gonna go to File, to off off camera here, I'm sorry about that, but it's your menu bar at the top. Go File, Export. Let's give it a name. We're gonna say Animated Red Arrow. And then right here under File Format, we wanna choose Animated GIF or GIF. And over here, Quality, Medium, that's fine. We could do large for fun if we'd like make it a background transparent okay and I think these settings here are just fine so let's go ahead and export that and it's going to do the leap click your props tab click the blue plus sign and you're gonna browse for your file or drag it in I'm just gonna drag and drop it and you'll see the little preview here and now we have it now, because it does start off screen, if it's transparent, it's blank. So it is a little tricky to work with. You know, it's invisible right now. If we were to hit preview, we could see it. Let's let everything come on. It's going to be the last thing. Comes our heart. Maybe we're going to have our little thumbs up come on in a minute here. And now we should have our red arrow coming on. There it is. Okay. So we do, we've confirmed that it exists, even though it's difficult to see. Let's make things a little easier by deleting some of this stuff. And now I just have this red one that's invisible. Now because it's invisible, like I say, it's hard to place it exactly. You gotta do a little bit of guesswork. I'm going to show you a little tip 
we go to this mini show preview we get this little mini viewer and you can move your little um play dead and you get a better sense of where it's placed okay and see how this is how, as far as it goes so if i go over here and select it i can move it over a little bit and then if i activate this now i can see did i go far enough so i can go even further over if i'd like i want it right up against the h let's see so now that's a little further over and that's just right that's how i want it i don't necessarily need it to come on with a, an effect or anything because it's starting off in white, so you know, making it fade from white is just going to fade it to white. So I'm just going to set it to appear with no drawing or fading, and it should be just right. Let's take a quick preview here. And boom. Now you do notice that it does repeat. That's just the way uh, GIF files are. So if I go to scene settings, we could make our scene even longer at the end, just so you can see it's going to repeat multiple times. And that's just the way they are. They just kind of cycle through. So let's see. So see it disappeared again, and then there it is. It's going to disappear again. And then it's going to come back, okay? So that's just what it's going to do. Let's go back to PowerPoint. And let's go ahead and delete that. Let's go ahead and go back to insert and let's do something with an icon. You'll notice there's all kinds of stock icons inside of PowerPoint. And this makes it really fun because then you have a world of options available to you. Let's use this boxing glove. And we're gonna make it much larger. That'll be good. If we want to change its color, we can certainly do that. Make it red and then we go back over to animations and we could play with all these different effects so I like that one getting me the export it file Export animated GIF. Go back into Doodly and then import it like I did before. Again, it's going to be invisible, so it's going to be a little tougher for us to work with. Do a quick little preview. This gives us a better idea of where it's located. And now I'm going to select it and just kind of and fine tune it. And that looks pretty good. Quick preview. And boom. So now that you know how to create these animated GIF files in PowerPoint, Go ahead and experiment with different shapes, icons, and animations. Now, I do want to give you a note of caution. Be sure to use them sparingly, keeping them short and sweet, and just, you know, a few of them here and there. If you recall on that opening sequence that I showed you at the beginning, I had three of them and it looked really tacky. Um, you want to just use them sparingly. After all, they're meant to add a little bit of spice to your doodly videos, but not take over the show. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.